Hi, this tutorial is going to show some basics of SQL. Um, so you'll start having already installed your WAMP server and you'll click the icon in your toolbar and you'll load your PHP my admin page. And the username is just root and there is no password. You just say go through this screen and this brings you to the dashboard or home page of your PHP my admin. Um, so you'll see on the left there's already some databases built and so the first thing that you'll want to do is create a database for your specific use so you go to databases and in this case we're going to call it just new database And when we click Create, you'll see that it pops up in your database list. And if you select your database, you have the option then to create a new table. And you give it a name and a number of columns and set it up by hitting Go. Um, but more likely, you're going to have a table already in existence, so we'll go to Import. And navigate to a table we want to bring in. and most of the defaults you'll leave remaining um, but in this case I know I have a header in the first line so I'm going to select that the first line of the file contains column names um, so that will auto generate the column titles and uh, we'll say go on that and success table has been successfully imported so now when you go to structure it shows you the table you can click on the table and expand it out and you can see in the top here that the header has been translated into column names and all the data is populated and you can click the double arrows to go to the very end of the list 31 pages 30 records a page. It's a decent size data set here. Um, and from here you can add your primary key. Um, and we'll have that in the next tutorial.